Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's Thayer Academy. <laughs> Taking on Hingham High School. <laughs> That's next on High School Quiz Show. Drive with Safety mobile app was designed with your teen driver's safety in mind. The Drive with Safety app helps monitor and reduce distracted driving behaviors. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Back in November, over a hundred high school teams all over Massachusetts competed in our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of 16 spots in this year's competition. The goal now is to become the next high school quiz show state champion. And today's matchup has Hingham High School taking on Thayer Academy from Braintree. And on the Hingham team, we have Will, JD, Jack, and Kelly with alternate Sam on the sidelines and coach Glenda Garland. <laughs> and for Thayer Academy, we've got Drew, Charlotte, Austin, and Garner with alternates Giovanni and Anna and coach Jamison Smith. <laughs> So the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We begin with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deduction for wrong answers. So teams, if you're ready, good luck, and here we go. What nerve carries signals from the retina to the brain? Yes, Kelly? The optic nerve? Yes. In January 1990, Chinese authorities ended more than seven months of martial law in what city that is home to Tiananmen Square? Yes, Austin. Beijing? Yes. Signed into law in 1972, what landmark legislation bans sex discrimination in schools and athletic programs that receive federal funding? Yes, Charlotte. Title IX? Yes. I Am Malala is a memoir by a young Pakistani student who was shot in 2012 by a gunman from what fundamentalist Islamic group? Yes, J.D. Taliban. Yes. In June 2017, what team defeated the Cleveland Cavaliers to win back the NBA championship title? Yes, Garner. The Golden State Warriors. Yes. What early English settlement that mysteriously disappeared in 1587 became known as the Lost Colony? Yes, Kelly. Roanoke. Yes, in the 1930s, British archaeologist Dr. Lewis Leakey asserted the theory that modern humans originated in what continent? Yes, J.D.? Africa. Yes. Take a look at your screens. The next question is coming up right now. Hi, I'm Barbara Mataloni, president of the Massachusetts Teachers Association. Here's my question. What inspiring teacher from Massachusetts was known as a miracle worker for teaching Helen Keller how to communicate with the outside world. And Sullivan, the answer there, and we move on. On his deathbed in 1955 in Princeton, New Jersey, what German physicist was still trying to find a unified field theory after searching for more than 30 years? Yes, Charlotte? Albert Einstein. Yes, death. Be Not Proud and A Valediction, Forbidden Morning are two of the best-known poems of what English metaphysical poet? Yes, Charlotte. John Donne. Yes, along with signs for no smoking and no littering, signs for no manspreading now appear on public buses in what capital city of Spain? Yes, Austin. Madrid. Correct. Which of the following staple crops is most associated with the rise of Mesoamerican civilizations? Is it A, rice, B, manioc, or C, maize? 
Yes, Austin. C maze. That is correct. Math question now. Find the area of a trapezoid with a height of 10 inches and bases of 3 inches and 5 inches. Yes, Austin. Uh, 40. Yes. Uh, what author of Agnes Gray is the younger sister of Charlotte and Emily Bronte? Yes, Kelly. Anne. Yes. Uh, rounded to the nearest million, Hillary Clinton won the popular vote in the 2016 presidential election by how many votes? Yes, Garner. Three million. Yes. Uh, what seven-letter word refers to the vast, sparsely populated interior of Australia? Yes, Drew. Outback. The Outback is right. What 1985 science fiction novel by Orson Scott Card is about an alien invasion of an insect-like species called buggers? Yes, J.D. Ender's Game. Yes. Uh, the actual dimensions of an atom's nucleus is called nuclear size. It's measured in which of the following units? A, Fermi, B, Tesla, or C, Newton? Yes, Charlotte? A Fermi. Yes. Uh, what was the last name of Richard and Mildred, the couple who successfully challenged Virginia's anti-interracial marriage laws in 1967? Yes, Charlotte. Lovings. Yes. In Alice in Wonderland, Alice uses a shrinking potion to make herself fit through a small door. Now, the magic liquid is in a bottle labeled with what two-word phrase? Yes, Austin. Drink me. Yes. In April 2017, what Turkish president won a referendum that gives him near dictatorial powers? Yes, Austin. Tayyip Erdogan? Yes. In mathematics, the order of operations can be remembered by using the acronym PEMDAS. What does the P stand for in this acronym? Yes, Austin. Parentheses. Yes, based on a book by Ian Fleming. What 1968 fantasy film stars Dick Van Dyke as the inventor of a magical flying car? Yes, Austin. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? That is correct. Uh, the burning of which fossil fuel produces the most carbon emissions globally? Yes, Garner. Coal. Coal is right. In 2017, what San Francisco Giants player became the first pitcher to hit two home runs on Major League Baseball's opening day? Drew. Madison Bumgarner. Yes. With approximately 2.2 million people in prisons and jails, what country has the world's largest inmate population? Garner. The USA. Yes. Uh, the designation AD is an abbreviation of what two-word medieval Latin phrase that means in the year of our Lord? Austin. Anno Domini. Yes. Uh, what god of war and protector of fallen heroes is the chief god in Norse mythology? Yes, Kelly. Thor. No, Thayer Academy. Yes, Kat Garner. Odin. Yes. Uh, more than 250,000 people have been killed during the ongoing Syrian civil war, which began in 2011 with protests against what Syrian president? Yes, Austin. Bashar al-Assad. Correct. Uh, what southern U.S. state is the setting for Catherine Stockett's novel, The Help? Yes, J.D. Louisiana. No, Thayer Academy. You want to give it a shot? Austin. Mississippi. That is correct. Wow. Uh, what powerful woman was the queen consort to both Louis VII of France and Henry II of England? Yes, Jack. Eleanor of Aquitaine. Yes. And uh, there is the bell that ends the round. The score right now, Hingham High School, 70 points. Thayer Academy, 230 points. How about it, folks? <laughs> All right, the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we're going to take a couple of minutes and have some fun with the contestants. Uh, I've got a question. Each of you will have a chance to answer the question in his or her own way. And we're going to start with Hingham High School and you, Will, and here comes the question right here. If WGBH hired you to create a weekly podcast, what would the topic be, who would the audience be, and who would host it? Will? For that, I'd like to defer to my aspiring co-host, JD. <laughs> um, so we would both host together a show talking about Middle Eastern politics because we both are interested in Middle Eastern politics. I used to live there. He is interested in Middle Eastern politics. And the audience would be anyone who wants to listen. Anybody who will listen. And Jack, are you involved in this or do you have your own nah, podcast? No, I got my own plan. Uh, I do a Boston sports podcast with myself, Scott Zolak, and Brian Scalabrini. <laughs> 
All right, Kelly? I do a podcast about the history of classical music hosted by the one and only Kanye West. Oh, boy, that should be interesting. Uh, Drew? I think a podcast on the inner workings of the Celtics front office hosted by Danny Ainge would be very interesting. All right, and Charlotte? I would do a Wikipedia podcast on the Wikipedia entries in the Wikipedia page for unusual Wikipedia pages. It would be for Wikipedia editors, and the hosts would be random people that I meet on my daily commute on the MBTA. Boy, that sounds like a lot of work, doesn't it? Uh, Austin? Uh, my podcast would be entitled Chocoholics Anonymous. It uh -huh. would be about chocolate, because I love chocolate. And anyone who likes chocolate can host it. OK. I like chocolate. Uh, Garner? Uh, my podcast would be on marine science. And anyone who's interested in the topic could host it. All right. By the way, I am available to host anybody's podcast. I just want to be very upfront with that one, all right? Uh, here's what we do to go head to head. We're going to have all of you come forward, and all of us will, in fact, go head to head. So come on down. OK, we're about to go head to head. I have Thayer Academy to my left, Hingham High School to my right. You gentlemen mind shaking hands? Let's make it all friendly here. Uh, as a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. And by the way, you can buzz in at any time. Uh, the clock is set at 90 seconds. Good luck, and here we go. Uh, the Grand Canyon is located in what U.S. state? Yes? Arizona. Yes. What element has the chemical symbol F-E? Yes. Iron. Yes. Uh, Zionism is a nationalistic movement that led to the creation. Israel. Yes. Uh, shortly after winning the 2017 Super Bowl, whose number 12 jersey went missing? Yes. Tom Brady. Yes. In uh, the film The Wizard of Lies, Robert De Niro plays what real life con man behind a $65 billion Ponzi scheme? Yes. Bernie Madoff. Yes. Uh, name the Greek playwright who wrote Oedipus Rex. Yes. Stop, like, yes. Please. Uh, which planet in the solar system has the strongest magnetic field? Jupiter. Uh, since the 1840s, U.S. presidential elections have always been held on which day of the week? Yes. Tuesday? Yep. Yeah. In June 2017, in a non-binding referendum, what U.S. territory voted to become the 51st state? Yes. New California? No, Puerto Rico. Uh, what does the J stand for in J.K. Rowling? Joanne or Joe? Along with Australia, what U.S. state is a top producer of macadamia nuts? Yes. Hawaii? Yes. Uh, Francis Scott Key wrote the words to the Star Spangled Banner during what war? Yes. War of 1812. Yes. Uh, what legendary king is the subject of... Oh, and that's the bell ending round two. Let's take a look at the score right now. Hingham High School, 100 points. Thayer Academy, 280 points. Let's hear it, folks, for both teams. <laughs> All right, next up is the category round with the following categories. The Other Sister, Cleveland Rocks, Repeat offenders, in the hot seat, vote early and often, and anchors away. Each category has five questions with increasing point values and players. Yes, you can confer with your teammates. Once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. We will need your answer. Uh, now, Hingham, you have a little ground to make up, so you get to choose the first category. And what's it going to be? Cleveland Rocks. Cleveland Rocks, questions about Cleveland, Ohio, and for 10 points. In 1987, Cleveland's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inducted its first woman. Who is this queen of soul known for hits like Respect and Free Way of Love? Yes, Austin. Aretha Franklin. That is correct. And Thayer, you get the board. Category? We'll stick with it. Cleveland Rocks for 15 points. By the early 1880s, almost all oil production in the United States was controlled by what company founded in Cleveland by John D. Rockefeller? Yes, Kelly? Standard Oil. That is correct. And now, Hingham, you've got the board. Category? Uh, stick with it. Cleveland Rocks for 20 points. Uh, Cleveland is located on the southern shore of which of the Great Lakes? Yes, Will? Erie. Lake Erie is right. You've still got the board, Hingham? We'll stick with it. Cleveland Rocks 
for 25 points. In 2002, what Cleveland native became the first and so far only black woman to win a Best Actress Oscar for her role in Monsters Ball. Yes, J.D. Halleberry. That is right, and you've still got the board hang up. We'll stick with it. Cleveland rocks for 30 points this time. Uh, what Cleveland DJ is best known for two things, using the phrase rock and roll to describe a style of music in 1951 and being fired over a payola scandal in 1959. Alan Freed, the answer. And Hingham, you've still got the board. You'll need a new category, though. In the hot seat. In the hot seat. Questions about climate change. And for 10 points, in June 2017, the U.S. vowed to pull out of what landmark climate agreement signed by nearly every country in the world to cut greenhouse gas emissions? Yes, Charlotte? Paris Climate Agreement. Yes. And now, Thayer, you've got the board category. The other sister. The other sister. Questions about sisters? And for 10 points, in uh, 2009, at age seven, what younger sister of Malia Obama became the youngest child to move into the White House since 1961? Yes, Kelly? Sasha. Sasha is right. Hang them. You've got the board back. Category? Uh, in the hot seat. In the hot seat. This time for 15 points. In many places, sea ice is sharply declining, but sea ice is actually increasing in which of the following parts of the world? Is it A, the Arctic, B, Greenland, or C, Antarctica? Yes, J.D.? Greenland? No, Thayer, you want to try it? Garner? Antarctica. Antarctica is right, and Thayer, you get the board back. Category? Vote early and often. Vote early and often. And these will be questions about U.S. presidential elections and for 10 points. In the 1972 election, what Republican incumbent won every state except Massachusetts? Yes, Austin. Nixon. That is right. You've still got the board there. Category? Anchors away. And uh, we've got it. Questions about ships. And for 10 points, what ship carried British separatists known today as the Pilgrims to Massachusetts in 1620? Yes, Austin. The Mayflower? That is right. You've got the board there. Uh, repeat offenders. Repeat offenders. All answers contain words that repeat. And for 10 points, uh, what ancient dog breed originally from northern China is distinctive for its dense double coat and thick mane, giving it the appearance of a lion? The Chow Chow. Uh, Thayer, you've still got the board category. Uh, anchors away. Anchors away for 15 points. In Herman Melville's Moby Dick, what is the name of Captain Ahab's whaling ship? Yes, Charlotte. The HMS Beagle. No, hang him high. You want to try it? Yes, Jack. The Pequod. That is right. And now, hang him. You've got the board back. Category. Anchors away. All right, this time for 20 points. Uh, the U.S. Navy recently named a new warship after what former Arizona congresswoman who survived an assassination attempt in 2011? Yes, Charlotte. Gabrielle Giffords. That is right. And now, Thayer, you've got the board category. Vote early and often. Okay. This time for 15 points. According to an infamous Chicago Tribune headline, who defeated President Harry Truman in the 1948 election? Austin. Do we? Dewey is right. You've still got the board Thayer. Uh, the other sister. Okay. Uh, the other sister for 15. In the Disney film Frozen, who sacrifices herself to save her sister Elsa? Yes, J.D.? Anna. Anna is right. Now, Hingham, you've got the board category. Um, vote early and often. Okay, and this time it'll be for 20 points. Uh, the last time a third-party candidate won any electoral votes was in 1968 when what segregationist former governor of Alabama won 46 electoral votes? Yes, J.D.? Wallace. George Wallace is right. You've got the board. Hang on. Stick with it. Uh, we're going to stick with vote early and often for 25 points. Maine is one of two states that do not apportion their electoral votes in a winner-takes-all format. What is the other state? Yes, J.D.? Nebraska. That is right. And Hingham, you've still got the board. We'll stick with it. Uh, vote early and often for 30 points. In 1984, President Ronald Reagan won 49 out of 50 states. What was the only state to vote for Walter Mondale? 
Yes, Garner. Minnesota. Minnesota is right. And now, Thayer, you've got the board. You'll need a new category. Repeat offenders. Repeat offenders for 15 points. In uh, 1984, what British band won the first ever Grammy Award for Best Music Video for Hungry Like the Wolf? Austin. Duran Duran. Yes. Uh, Thayer, you've still got the board. Category? Uh, the Other Sister. The Other Sister for 20 points. Best known for her hit song, Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue, Crystal Gale is the younger sister of what country legend and subject of the film Coal Miner's Daughter? Loretta Lynn is the answer. Thayer, you've still got the board category. In the hot seat. In the hot seat for 20 points. Uh, despite overwhelming scientific evidence, what current EPA director has denied that carbon dioxide is a primary contributor to global warming? Yes, Will. Pruitt. Scott Pruitt is right. Hingham, you've got the board category. In the hot seat. In the hot seat for 25. Greenhouse gases act like the glass in a greenhouse. They trap heat by absorbing what type of low energy radiation emitted from the Earth's surface? Yes, Will. UV. No, Thayer Academy. Yes, Austin. Infrared. Infrared is right. And now, Thayer, you've got the board category. Repeat offenders. Repeat offenders this time for 20 points. Known as the town so nice, they named it twice. What city in Washington state is home to more than 120 wineries and a booming culinary scene? Yes, Jack. Walla Walla. Walla Walla is right. Hingham, you've got the board category. In the hot seat, please. In the hot seat, this time 30 points at stake. In 1896, which Swedish scientist became the first person to claim that fossil fuel combustion may eventually result in enhanced global warming? Yes, Austin. Nobel? No, hang them high. You want to try it? Zvanta Arrhenius is the answer there. And I believe, Hingham, you still have the board. You'll need a category. Anchors away. All right, 25 points here. Uh, one of the most dramatic events of the 1905 Russian Revolution began on June 27th when the crew of what battleship rose up in mutiny over being served rotten meat? The Potemkin is the answer, but you've still got the board. Hang them. Category. Anchors away. 30 points in Portsmouth, England. You can visit what historic ship that was used by Lord Nelson in the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. <laughs> HMS Victory, the answer. And hang them. You still have the board. Category. Oh, but that ends the category round. The score right now, Hingham High School, 245 points. Thayer Academy, 395 points. Let's hear it, everybody. Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of game play. It is the lightning round. It moves very fast. Uh, you get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers, teams, will cost you 20 points. The clock is set. Good luck, teams. Here we go. Mosul and Fallujah are major cities in what country? Iraq. Oh, Iraq. Yes, Will, Iraq. In 2017, Boston's role as a sanctuary city was affirmed by what Boston mayor? Yes, Austin. Marty Walsh. Yes. How many of the eight planets in the solar system have moons? Yes, Will. Seven. No, six. Uh, what Canadian actor plays the title character in the film Deadpool? Yes, Jack. Ryan Reynolds. Yes. Uh, the Altai Mountains are located in what continent? Yes, Jack. Asia. Yes. In taxonomy, what group falls between class and family? Yes, Garner. Order. Yes. Who was the last president of the Soviet Union? Austin. Mikhail Gorbachev. Yes. A ghost named Banquo shows up in what Shakespeare play? Yes, Kelly. Macbeth. Yes. Uh, what kind of electromagnetic radiation is also known as Röntgen radiation? Yes, Jack. X-rays. X-rays is right. In 2012, Meryl Streep won an Oscar for playing what politician known as the Iron Lady? Yes, Charlotte. Margaret Thatcher. Yes, Life is Fine and I Too, Sing America, are poems by what leading figure in the Harlem Renaissance? Yes, J.D. Langston Hughes. Yes. What does the K stand for in the musical genre known as K-pop? Yes, Kelly. Korean. Yes, as late as 1961, what European country ruled the southern Indian state of Goa? 
Yes, Austin. Uh, United Kingdom? No, Portugal would have been the correct answer. The winner this week on uh, High School Quiz Show, Thayer Academy, <laughs> with 455 points. Uh, the runner-up this week, Hingham High School, 365 points. Congratulations to both teams for a great game, a great round. Thayer Academy now will move on to play in the High School Quiz Show quarterfinals. Make sure you tune in. We'll see you all back here next week for a High School Quiz Show. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. There are hundreds of dangerous intersections out there. Fortunately, there are even more independent insurance agents who work with Safety Insurance, helping to ensure you're covered no matter where you drive. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. of WGBH.